NASCAR star Matt Crafton denies sucker punching Nick Sanchez, defends bloody melee. Sanchez left bloodied, says he was sucker punched. NASCAR Truck Series driver Matt Crafton got into a fight that left fellow competitor Nick Sanchez bruised and bloodied after their race at Talladega Super Speedway on Saturday. Sanchez was seen on video bleeding from his nose and threatening Crafton. He said after the melee that he got sucker punched while he was in the garage area. Crafton explained his side of the issue Sunday in a series of posts on X, formerly Twitter. He started by telling his followers what wasn't caught on the video that made the rounds on social media. First, let's address the sucker punch. Before the cameras started rolling I approached Nick and said, hey, when he turned around I said, what the? To which he looked right at me and threatened me, Crafton started. That is when it all went to hell. I had his attention, words were exchanged, all before anything physical took place, so I did not, sucker punch, the guy. There may not be video, but there were plenty of eyewitnesses. Crafton said that what was missing was how Sanchez was driving during the race. Crafton got caught up in a wreck near Sanchez during the truck race. He wouldn't be able to finish the race. What people don't take into account is that he all but sucker punched me at 200 miles per hour. The way he pushed my truck gave me no ability to get out of the situation and he was told multiple times during that race the way he was pushing people was going to cause a wreck and going to get people hurt. There is a consistent pattern of certain drivers having a lack of respect on the track, and it was time for someone to say something. Am I proud that it got physical? No, but last time I checked everyone on that track is a grown adult. If a man looks at me and threatens me, I am going to react. Especially when tempers are already flared from being wrecked on the track. Crafton then apologized. I apologize to my team, my sponsors and partners, my family, and the NASCAR community for the negativity and for taking attention away from a good day of racing at Talladega. Sanchez was among the drivers looking for an edge in the final elimination before the championship 421 days away. Sanchez was in the mix heading into Talladega and made contact with Crafton's vehicle coming down the front stretch with three laps to go. The contact triggered a big wreck. Crafton wasn't able to finish the race. Sanchez finished seventh and jumped to fourth place in the standings.